what's up YouTube this is your girl Alexis back with another video and this one is going to be pretty short um, I'm talking about edge gel um, and I'll tell you how this video came about a while ago I got my hair done at the hairdresser and when she was finishing my hair she put uh, some gel around the edges and it was really good it held for days and days without moving so uh, recently I called the salon to find out what type of gel she had put on my edges um, and come to find out it was Caracare Edge Tamer now I don't know if any of you all have purchased this product but when I went to look for it I found it to be between 15 and 20 dollars which for me that is outrageous I'm not going to pay $15 for gel. So I decided to try to find something better for my edges. Uh, currently I am using, well I have been using Let's Jam. Uh, you know it's like pink or purple or blue and it smells pretty good. It holds for a little while but usually um, it doesn't hold. Uh, it Probably half the day it doesn't hold. So I was trying to find something better. I wanted whatever the, the stylist had used, but that was too expensive. So I asked around, and I was told about two products. Um, one was olive oil edge control. And even when I went to the beauty supply store, they I told them what I was looking for, and they were like, uh, get the olive oil. But there weren't that many products to choose from, so I think they just told me that because that's what's available, is what they have. Um, the second product I heard about was this Elasta QP Glaze, and I got Maximum Hold. They do have, uh, I guess, regular hold and Maximum, so I decided to get Maximum and try that out. So I have in my half wig, um, and this is my bob. This is Old Faithful, I guess you could say, because I've been wearing it for a for a while. Um, and I've been enjoying my bobby wig. I'm sure some of you saw the review I did before. I'm loving that wig. But uh, today I decided I would show some forehead. So I'm rocking the half wig. And I'm going to try these two gels and see which one gives me the best results. So I'm going to put olive oil on this side and elastic QP on this side. And I'm going to see which one gives me the best results. Uh, so I'll start with the olive oil and it's clear you can see I've dug into it a little already but I haven't worn it out um, it smells good it's really thick so I'm hoping it won't melt when it's on my head I like the texture of it it's very stiff and that's really what I was looking for and also it's clear which uh, the jam is is colored which I don't, I'm not sure if you can really see the color but at least this one you don't have to wonder if you can see the color okay now that feels really really stiff and it doesn't feel like it's going to move so I'm really happy with that right now that actually looks great to me okay and on the other side we're gonna do the elastic QP it smells good too and it's also clear and I'll just point out you can see uh, these were the same price and what I got for five dollars here and here so hopefully this one is the better gel because it's cheaper. Now this gel is definitely not as stiff as the olive oil. I can sense that immediately. It's going on much easier, which is fine as long as it, you know, if it holds, it doesn't really matter. And I'm, I think I might have put on a little too much in that corner, but we'll see.
Okay. So I'll give you a close up. This is the olive oil side. And this is the Elasta QP side. So right now, I think the olive oil side is winning simply because it's not as shiny as the Elasta QP. Um, even though shine isn't really an issue for me, I don't mind if it's shiny. But the fact that it's shiny is making me think it might melt and then it, the shine is going to be all over my face. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to go run some errands. And I not only want to see which one looks good now, but I want to see which one holds up over time. So I'm going to go run some errands and then I'm going to come back later today and, tell, and show you how my hair looks. And we can see if either one of them lasts. Maybe both of them are not going to last. But um, I'll let you know what happens. And at the end of this video, I will tell you how you can get uh, my winner for free. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. And I think there is a winner. Um, here is the olive oil side. And it seems like um, it didn't hold very well throughout the day. And I think I see some white uh, residue in my hair. Now that could be just because I, I put too much in it. That's very possible. But as you can see, it's not as smooth as it was when I first put it on. Now on the other side, the Elasta QP isn't quite as smooth as when I first put it on. But there's no residue. It's shiny and the hair is still it feels stiff and it feels like it's held in place so I'm much happier with the elastic QP than I am with the olive oil edge control so this is the elastic QP and it is $4.99 and this is the olive oil edge control which um, it was also $4.99. I think it's at Walmart for $4.29. But obviously, between these two packages, you can see that you even get more Elastic QP than you get olive oil. So that combined with my results just for today, I would say that the Elastic QP Glaze Maximum Hold is definitely better than the olive oil edge control. So, um, how can you get it free? Well, at my website, styleillusions.com, anytime you buy a half wig, you're going to get a little container of, of this Elasta QP gel. So, uh, check out my website, styleillusions.com. Check out the full, full cap wigs, the lace wigs. And if you buy a half wig, you can get some of this Elasta QP glaze, which is my winner today for edge gel and I think I'm gonna go through this bottle so thanks for checking me out I appreciate you uh, listening to me and have a great day